Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number six in the series of 15 on the topic of work time problems. Sixth one in the out of the series of 15. And today is our lesson number 131. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that the pump A can fill a swimming pool in three hours. We are further told that pump B can do it in seven hours. Question simply is approximately how long will it take them working together at their constant pace to fill the swimming pool together. That's all it is. I'm going to give you five seconds to be, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first and then we'll do it together, okay? Well, there are several ways we can go about it. One method is the very traditional method, very orthodox, very conventional method where you set them up as, as, the, as, the, as, the, as the ratios of 1 over 3 and 1 over 7 and you find the common denominator, all of that. We're not going to do any of this thing. It's very straightforward, very simple. Listen carefully. We are told that one, one pump can fill it up in 3 hours. Well, if one pump can fill it up in 3 hours, ask yourself, what would have happened if both of these pumps at the, worked at the same speed? If if the slower pump, pump B, if slower pump B, pump B also work as fast as the faster pump, in other words, if both of them individually could fill up the swimming pool in three hours, and if there are, since there are two pumps now, we can fill up the swimming pool in an hour and a half. What that tells us is that in the, in the best case scenario, best case scenario being we have two pumps, each one of them can fill it up in three hours. Even in the best case scenario, it will not, it cannot possibly take less than an hour and a half. We do not know what the answer is, but the answer, whatever it is, cannot be anything less than an hour and a half. It cannot be equal to an hour and a half because we do not have two fast pumps. We have one fast pump and one slow pump. So if we find an answer twice that is less than an hour and a half or equal to an hour and a half, that's nonsensical. It just doesn't make any sense. We can kill A and B. It just they don't make any sense. The exact opposite logic will apply when you look at pump B. Pump B, pump B, we are told, can fill it up in seven hours, which means in three and a half hours it can fill half the swimming pool. If we had another pump, if for some reason pump A began to work as slow as the slow pump, if B, if A worked as slow as the slow pump and A also took seven hours, in that case, which is the worst case scenario, even in the worst case scenario, they should be able to fill up the swimming pool in three and a half hours. Both of them taking seven hours, which means we do not know what the answer is, but it cannot be anything more than three and a half hours. It cannot be equal to three and a half hours. It cannot be equal to three and a half hours because pump A does not take seven hours. It only takes three hours. If we find an answer choice that is equal to a more than three and a half hours, that's nonsensical also. But there you go. That's it. We are done. The answer is answer is C. Now, if you like, if you insist, if you're hell bent on it, we'll do it together. So here's 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 the solution. We are told that one can do it in seven hours. We are told the other one can do it in three hours. The least common multiplier, so a number that is multiple of both seven and three, a number that is about multiple of seven and three, the smallest one that we can think of is 21 hours. So 21 is a magic number here. In 21 hours, A can do, since A takes only three hours, A can do seven jobs in 21 hours. Makes perfect sense because it takes 3 hours to do a job. So therefore if you give him 21 hours he can fill up 7 swimming pools. B, 7 identical swimming pools that is. B can do, since he takes 7 hours, he can do 3 jobs. 3 jobs in 21 hours. What does it tell us? It tells us that together, together they can do 10 jobs. 7 plus 3, they can do 10 jobs in, in 21 hours. If they can do 10 jobs in 21 hours, that implies that they can do, they should be able to do one job in 21 over 10, which is approximately 2. Hence, hence the use of the word approximately. That's it, we're done. You want to do one more? 
Hold on, just do one more. Whether we call them pump A or pump A and pump B or machine A or machine B or person A or person B it really makes no difference at all. So here's the next problem. We are told that A can do a job in three hours. I'm going to erase all of this thing. We are done with all of this. A can do a job in three hours. B can do the same job in four hours. Question again is how long together? Of course in the real exam they're not going to say how long together, it's going to be a little bit more elaborate. They're going to say how long will it take them for working together at their constant pace to do the job, to do one job, something to that effect. Here are the answer choices. A, B, C, D, and E. We are told A is 40 minutes, B is 1 hour and 40 minutes, 1 hour and 30 minutes rather, 1 hour and 30 minutes, C is 1 hour and 40 minutes, 2 hours and 3 hours and 30 minutes. Let's see what we can do. It should take a question like this, a question like this in the exam should take no more, in all honesty, should take no more than 10 to 15 seconds. That's all. It's very simple. Look, if they both work, if they both work as fast as a fast guy, the job can be done in an hour and a half. Any answer choice that is less than an hour and a half or equal to an hour and a half cannot be, cannot be correct. It makes no sense because that's the, that's the best case scenario. We do not have both of them working the job, doing the, we do not have both of them being able to do the job in three hours. This guy takes four hours. So obviously it cannot, they cannot do it in an hour and a half, it's going to be a little bit more than an hour and a half. It cannot be 40 minutes, it cannot be, it cannot be an hour and a half. I think I just gave it away. I just gave it away in the way I phrased my sentence. It's going to be a little bit more than half an hour. Anyway, let's continue. Let's look at the other extreme. This guy takes four hours. If this guy also took four hours, they should be able to do the job in two hours. Because in two hours he will do, B will do half the job and, and in A can do half the job in two hours if A also took four hours which means correct answer, whatever it is, cannot be equal to or more than two. There you go. The answer is C. Now, if you, if, again, if you held bent on it, we'll do it together. Magic number here is going to be 12. 3 and 4, the least common multiplier, a, a number that is a multiple of both 3 and 4, but the smallest one is 12. 12 is the magic number here. A can do, A can do, since it takes 3 hours, he can do 4 jobs in 12 hours. Since B takes 4 hours, that tells us that B can do 3 jobs in 12 hours. That means together, together they can do 7 jobs in 12 hours. Together they can do 7 jobs in 12 hours. If they can do 7 jobs in 12 hours, that implies that they should be able to do 1 job in 12 over 7 hours. 12 over 7 hours is the same as 1 and 5 7. We need to convert this 5 7 into minutes, so let's do that here. Times 60, that will convert it into minute. How many? We know 63 would be 9. 63 would be 9. It's not 63, but had it been 63, let's pretend it's 63. 63 would have been 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 5 is 45, therefore it's 40. It's not, it's not 30. It's not 30. For it to be 30, for it to be 30, this amount would have to be 6 times 7. It would have to be close to 42. 60 is not close to 42. 60 is much closer to 63. You see what I'm talking about? Had it been 42, look, 1 and, 1 and 5, 7. If one hour, if one hour consisted of 42 minutes, if one hour consisted of 42 minutes, then it will be 6 and 6 5 times is 30 is hour and 30 minutes. But an hour is not made up of 42 minutes, an hour is made up of 60 minutes and 60 is very close to 63. 63 is 9 times 7 and 9 times 5 is 45 is this. Besides, we don't have to make all of this first. It cannot possibly be hour and a half. That's the whole point here. The whole point here is that it cannot possibly be hour and a half. Never, never, never. Hour and a half is the amount of time it would have taken if we had two people being able to do the job in three hours each. If this guy can do the job in three hours and this guy can do the job in three hours, then they can do the job together in hour and a half. 
this guy is taking four hours. So obviously, it's, I don't know what the answer is, but it's got to be more than an hour and a half. Do you understand? Want to do one more? Let's do one more. Actually, I changed my mind. I have to check my work on this one. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.